Uh, hello everyone. When I'm selling, um, I sold one of those a uh, couple weeks ago. It's a kind of uh, rowdy device. It's turned very smooth. Um, they had a bearings and a housing made from anodized aluminum. It's got a two end shafts. But uh, what I like about this piece is it's kind of accurate. Let me just push the micrometer. You see how it's moving. So let's set up at that position. And with my hand, I want to turn this. And you see it not moving, moving just so tiny, maybe less than a point zero 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 five. But uh, remember, I mean, everything is. You see, if I move the the uh, the little vise that I holding, I mean, it's not exactly precise because that movement. But anyway, I turn it. And it's not moving the needle at all. I measure in the back part. When I do the measure in the front part, I notice a little different, but a very tiny, perhaps because the machining of the of the uh, let's point this up here the machining of the of the shaft but it's uh, basically same it's moved just probably what I say point zero 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 five of an inch so but that maybe has some um, you know chips or <coughs> excuse me some chips and because I measure on top of the rod anyway but if you see that the needle is lightly I mean moved and say probably point zero 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 five so let me do the other side and see what we have in the other side and see what happened in the other side. I'm going to start in the front which is uh, probably the most play make make good make good have okay so let's check the needle if you can see my hand turning you said not move absolutely anything you see You can see the rod how it's turning. And if I put it in the second, let's see what happened. It's absolutely nothing. Let me see if I can turn more faster with my both hands. It's not move at all. Well, the reason I like this precision is because you probably could start. Let me remove a little bit from, away from. I hope you're able to see the dilated needle. And I want to make this mirror a little bit more faster. And you see that it's not moving at all. Um, this is a good, uh, the, I mean, the precision and and machines are very important so this might be good for build a spindle or for a drive a spindle and a spindle so the important thing is the first step is good because it's accurate and from from here and on it all depends the quality of the job you do I mean you can put a um, Pulleys, pulleys, 
or one pulley in here and a timing belt to drive your spindle and definitely because it's pretty accurate it's not going to be a vibration or something but if you want a turning in a spindle itself you can machine what part and leave the other part for the uh, for the pulley timing belt or and driving with a uh, DC motors or servo motor so anyway I want to sell for $17.99 and I need to charge $8 of shipping because it's a little bit heavy so $17.99 $8 shipping USPS parcel post um, I will take some measurements in the pictures and thank you for watching